Assalamu alaikum dear students hope you are fine by the grace of almighty Allah welcome to NAVS Home school I am Sabrina Hawk assistant teacher of science national ideal English version school leadership dear students today I am going to take a science class for class 3 student on the based on chapter 3 and along with the chapter we will also discuss the <coughs> exercise and we will solve the exercise so let us move forward to today's topic the name of the chapter is different types of matter first lesson is matter there are different things around us among these there are tables chairs books marble bricks buildings hills and many other things beside these things they are soil water air etc question here is heard then what are things made of the activity here materials things come they give here discs then wood and nails then if we write here chair it also made of wood and nails now come for it if it is book it is made from wood bamboo or sugar cane like this way matter <coughs> the things are made of different kinds of materials now come what is matter all things of the earth are made of matter things such as pencil chair table water glass blackboard are made of matter a chair is made of wood and a water glass is made of glass matter has weight and takes up space this is the definition of matter that means matter has weight and takes up space now come to properties of matter that things is very much important for you that you have to learn all matters have some common properties weight shape size and volume all properties are the properties all matter have weight and occupy space some are heavy but other are light some are round or square some are soft or hard look these are one this one is brick this is heavy and this one is balance that is light come to the shape this is cuboid shape and this is spare shape and if you look there is uh, much water and there is less water that means volume is less here volume is much here now come to forms of water change in forms of water water is also a matter when an ice cube is left in a warm room it becomes water when water is heated we can find steams and bubbles look how does water change its form if we heated a water uh, in a kettle uh, on the stove that time after a few time we will see, we can see there is <coughs> stem of steam of the water and this is the gaseous form inside the kettle there is the liquid form of the water now come to the next phase that is when a spoon uh, put on the kettle that time after cooling down if we observe the spoon there is drop of water that means when a spoon cool down and the, uh, some drop of water on it we find the stem is made of water now <coughs> when water is heated bubbles rise through the water this are, is called boiling and bubbles <coughs> are water which comes into an invisible form and this is called water vapor when water vapor cools down in, in the air it changes into visible particles of water this is called steam then steam becomes water vapor in the air again and then disappear and come to three forms of water we can uh, water can change its form into water vapor liquid water and ice by heating and cooling now water vapor is an invisible form of water and <coughs> this is the important portion that is 
water vapor is invisible form and it is the gaseous state of water when what heat is added to liquid water it changes into water vapor as water vapor cools it changes into liquid water liquid water is the form of water we know best and we use liquid water for drinking washing swimming etc ice is the frozen form of water that means solid form of water the this state of water is called solid when liquid water cools it changes into ice ice changes into liquid water when heat is added look this is the ice after giving heat the it become water if we apply more heat to water it become invisible water vapor if we cool invisible water vapor it become water again if we cool the water that will be ice again we have to practice this portion drawing now come to the next phase different types of matters that means three states of matter matter is found in different states in our environment matter can be classified into three states solid liquid and gas solid is the state of matter that has its own definite volume and shape a uh, stone is a solid the stone does not changes its volume and shape by itself when we drop a stone it is still has the same volume and shape ice table and pencil are solid there are various types of solid here here they give three examples of this now come to liquid liquid is a state is a state of matter that has its own volume but does not have its own shape liquid flows and take shape of any container for example juice will take the shape of the glass when we pour the juice into a glass <coughs> juice flows and is spread on the desk or floor when we spill it water milk tea and juice are liquid now come for the gas the gas is the state of matter that flows has no definite shape and or volume of its own a gas always takes the whole space of closed container air and the water vapor is gas now come for the fill in the blanks first fill in the blanks is ice is gas state of water it will be solid sorry now come for the next one water changes into ice by cooling now come for the next one water changes into vapor by heating come for the last one all things are made of matter now come for the tick the correct answer first one which one is solid water vapor juice ice cream here ice cream is solid now come for the next one which one is a liquid oil water vapor bubble of water ice it will be oil now come for the matching the matter that has definite volume and shape it is a solid the matter that takes the whole space of a closed container that will be gas that matter that has definite volume but does not have definite shape it is liquid now water vapor or it is gas that means first one will match with solid second one will match with gas third one will match with liquid and fourth one will match with again with gas dear students this is your homework number 5 you have to do the fill in the blanks which is given uh, in your book na page number 21 it is your homework you have to do it is as homework number 5 and you have to submit on saturday dear students i have finished my today's topic hope you have understood read the chapter and do your sw thank you all the best